Welcome back. Coming at you with episode 28 of the Shy Sports Weekly Podcast. Once again, I'm your host, Max, back with the boys. Kyle, Ty, how are you doing, guys? Back in the saddle feels good. We're um, on a, a little two-week vacation here. Yeah, you know, they say fall break. Uh, <laughs> no, everything's good. Living, barely breathing, but we're good. We're kicking. Ty, I got to hear about this story from of you driving <laughs> back from Charleston, South Carolina. Yeah, 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 yeah. By the uh, way, for, all... for those uh, not watching on the YouTube uh, hat update, he it does not have a hat on. He's got his hair gelled. <laughs> I was literally just gonna say, I do for gel once in my life. For have gel on my hair, yeah. <laughs> That's that pretty good. Sucks. Yeah. Thanks for what I have left. Like I said, uh, the hairline's a little, what they say, receding. Uh, but we're we're getting there. We're hanging. You're out keeping the receipts. Yeah, I'm keeping the receipts and it's long. Um, yeah. So we're yeah. going around the pod. Is that uh, anytime Ty has sex, he just immediately puts gel in his hair after. It's true. He's feeling real good. Which is, which is why you never see me with gel in my hair. That's why he's always wearing a trucker's hat. <laughs> yeah. The trucker hat means it's been three weeks. So. <laughs> it's always just three weeks. <laughs> it's right, tell, us, tell us this story. Uh, yeah. So we went uh, to a wedding in South Carolina couple uh two weeks ago now and uh flight there was fine got there perfectly fine and then uh i think southwest implemented like a uh, vaccine mandate for their employees so then everyone hey guess what they quit uh so they didn't have any pilots no fucking you know what do they call them pilots Pilots. stewardesses flight attendant attendant. (laughs) flight attendants can't fly the plane well, I mean, they quit too. So it's like now you got they nobody. Give up, then they have no one to give out pretzels. Nobody to give out. It's it's a snack mix on Southwest. So you know, write that down. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> our flight was supposed to be Monday morning at like six, early as fuck. Be home in time for work. Yeah. Well, midnight the night before rolls around and flights canceled. So we tried to call to get rebooked. We were on. Well, Becca was on hold for four and a half hours with Southwest. Nobody ever fucking answered the phone. So now That's it's crazy. 4.30 in the morning and I have to be home for work. I'm, I'm supposed to be home for work that morning. That's not happening, obviously. So then I really have to be back Tuesday. So we had to fucking rent a car and drive 14 hours from Charleston to Chicago. Who was this it? Was it just you back? Podcast. Uh, so it was me, Becca, and her parents. Her parents were supposed to fly out the next day, but they're like, we'll just drive with you because it'll probably get canceled like yours did. Did their flight actually get canceled? I have no idea, actually. But I'm so happy they drove with us because I couldn't have driven 14 hours. We Would you not have had back drive? No, yeah, but like seven and seven all fucking day, like, that's tough. So Ugh. switch off drivers. It was fine, really, but like, what a pain in the dick. So this is a anti Southwest podcast now. Fuck Southwest and their mother. They can all eat my ass. And I hope you lose all of your business. Wow. That's fact. Wow. They did give us that tie talk. They, they gave us each a $250, uh, $250 voucher. And to that, I still say, eat my ass. That's it? Yeah. What about that, the that's... rental car that was $300? That's what not enough. That one? $250 voucher is not enough. What'd you say, Kai? What kind of car did you drive back? Jeep Compass. Not, is it comfy at least? It, it, it was. I actually kind of liked it. <laughs> Compasses are not bad. Yeah, it was a nice nice ride. So, so did you guys drive literally just 14 hours straight to get back? Yep. Stop for, you know, bathroom and gas. And, and like to get food or anything? Or did you just eat on the road? Ate on the road. Hit Burger King one time around. Yeah, you were I mean, you were a part of history though. So there's that. I mean, I guess so. Uh, yeah, I guess technically history. Shit stand on history. Yeah, and yep. and then the next day, fucking Ryan's flight in the morning just goes out no problem. It's like, all right, <laughs> cool. <laughs> did he did he beat you back almost? For, yeah, he probably got home like five hours after we did. <laughs> Oh, I got home God. at one thirty in the morning and went to work at eight. Oof. 
That is so that is so bad. So how was your vacation, Max? <laughs> <laughs> Better than that. I will say though that I so I went out to Denver and I flew out there last Thursday night and we flew American, but our flight was supposed to take off at 7:20. Got delayed to 9:45 and I was like, "Fuck, here we go." Like after hearing all that stuff that was going on with Southwest, I was like, "This does not sound good or promising." And there was talk that the flight might get canceled altogether. There was just a lot of chaos and confusion, and we're sitting around the airport waiting, just drinking. And eventually, it it all worked out that the flight wound up taking off at nine forty five. But a lot of crazy shit going on with airlines right now. Yeah, yeah. it's tough out here. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I uh, Gio was in Memphis, and he had the same thing. Ty, he had to drive back. It was like the worst thing ever. We got the last rental car. I, I kid you not, probably within like a 30 mile radius of Charleston. I looked everywhere and we found oh, a you, rental wait, car place in the, the mall. 11 a.m. Charleston time. Wow. 14 hours straight, dude. That, God bless you. I, I, I don't think I could be in a car for more than four hours. In and general. you know what? I were, don't, you over, were you hung over doing this? No. Probably no. felt like you were. Yeah, it did. But <laughs> and I'm not a sleeper in moving vehicles like planes, trains, cars, automobiles, dude. None of that shit. I don't sleep. So I slept for maybe 30 minutes the entire way. Did you like I mean, I'm assuming you didn't have like you couldn't you didn't smoke or anything. Like <laughs> I don't know how you're gonna sneak away in. No. <laughs> no, that was off the table completely. A lot of dip or no? No, absolutely not. So you did the 14 hours stone cold sober just with Burger King. <laughs> yeah, but I had two whoppers to keep me going, so it was hard. <laughs> did you have the trucker hat with you or was your hair gelled? Uh, I definitely had a hat. <laughs> hard to say which. Probably the trucker. Your hair was not gelled. No gel. No sex. <laughs> <laughs> no gel, no sex. That's good to know. All right, let's get to week 28. No, I was going to say week 18. Week so, 28. Fuck Max's vacation is what we're saying. <laughs> he didn't even just tell us about it? No, there's no there's no need to talk about it. Oh, tell we're us about it. Come, no, come on, tell us about it. You're can uh, yeah, I saw a concert got canceled, Midland. Yeah. So yeah, we were supposed to go see a concert at Red Rocks in Denver. Uh Midland Country Band. That got canceled literally like three days before the show. So COVID Thursday, related? Yeah. Thursday night actually, we were, you know, getting ready to like have our shit packed and you know actually this was wednesday night i'm sorry because we flew there on thursday we're getting our stuff back and ready to go and i see on instagram that they posted this long message about how the concert had to be postponed because of covid someone in the crew had it safety this and that blah 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 and i was pretty pissed um because it's just like it felt like they could have done more like they could have done something else to try and have the like the, the concert go on but nonetheless got pushed to next year we wound up still going anyways did some hiking drank at some breweries um yeah Denver's a cool city did you think the altitude uh did you have any troubles breathing or no did you get like a headache anything. or anything like that I didn't notice anything I mean it's possible that there was some kind of a difference but I didn't feel anything <laughs> so I think the one so thing I noticed like in good shape. Okay. <laughs> one thing I noticed when I was out there is when I was drinking, I felt like I was getting drunk way quicker than I usually do. And I'm the real thing. Yeah, it's like I had three beers, three like coors lights, and I'm like, damn. Is it really saucy? I, yeah, I don't know. It takes less alcohol at elevation to get you drunk. Pretty sure that's science. I'm no doctor. Obviously, but... Coors Light <clears throat> is pretty cheap everywhere because it's a domestic beer, but it's extra cheap in Denver, which is kind of nice. Are you just slamming Coors Lights? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and Broncos uh, minus four. Uh, <laughs> no, right. no Broncos minus four. I texted Kyle on, I think, either Thursday or Friday. I'm like, I'm in Denver. Let's hammer the Broncos this weekend. He goes, oh, yeah. And then, luckily, I just forgot about it, and Never sent him a text to put the bet in, and the Broncos got smoked by the coachless Raiders. Yeah, that's actually crazy that they 
one didn't cover and two just got blown out. Teddy, yeah. Teddy, two gloves. They start three and oh, they're three and three now. <clears throat> I watched most of the game. I don't know if they have like injuries to their offensive line, but he had like no time. I can honestly say I watched zero, zero <laughs> snaps of the Raiders Broncos game. I was also in Boulder for on Saturday and at Colorado University is there. They had mm-hmm. parents weekend. So it was kind of pretty popping, pretty happening uh, there because there was a football game. But Colorado was one and four, and they were playing Arizona, who was 0 and five. <laughs> so it was literally just a battle of two dog shit teams. I was surprised at how many fans there were. It was, it was honestly respectable. It was just shit on shit. Yeah. I shit on that. right. Who won? Couldn't tell you. Honestly, I have no <laughs> idea. <laughs> That's just how we like it. Yeah, I don't think they kept score I actually. I... What's up? No, I'm wearing a Purdue shirt. Oh, boiler up, dude! Big win for the Boilermakers this past. Fucking week. rights. Yeah, I know. Last week I went to the Iowa game, Iowa Penn State, and I was all Iowa. And then this week, when after they lost, I, you know, I'm, just, I'm gonna hitch my my car to whatever team's winning. I don't care. <clears throat> so you're Homer Simpson sliding into the bush. Oh yeah. <laughs> hey, go up. I went in with one gold shirt, came out with another one, just with the winning team. I was going to say, it kind of looks like an Iowa shirt. All right, same colors. Gold. Boiler up, hammer down, baby. That's convenient. There we go. So, Max, I got to ask you, who is your number? Fa- who is your favorite number 28 of all time? Uh, let's start with an easy one. How about Kyle Hendricks? Oh, yeah, there we go. You know exactly where I'm going, though. <laughs> <laughs> There's Mark literally Bell- one place that you could be going. <laughs> Mark Bellhorn. If Mark Bellhorn knew how much we said his name on this podcast, he would have he would definitely come on. I don't know if anybody even endlessly. <laughs> if anybody out there knows who not knows who, if they have any connections to Mark Bellhorn, please hook us up. I would <clears> love <throat> to have Mark. I actually just kind of want to ask him about wearing like the two flapped helmet and if he ever got made fun of <laughs> doing that in the pros. So when we had Andy and Tony on. I think you mentioned Mark Bellhorn, and they're like, wow, what a name drop. And I'm thinking to myself, we literally talk about him every episode. <laughs> We've talked about him every episode. <laughs> We're 28 for 28 in mentioning Mark <laughs> Bellhorn. That's range. Uh, I'm trying to think. who I got Jake Dowell for the Blackhawks. Jake Dowell. Okay. Resident Blackhawks guy. Nice. Mm-hmm. Uh, Sounds like the made-up about- name from MVP Baseball, John Dowell. He's from, uh, I don't know how, do you, how do you, it's EAU Claire, Al Claire. Wisconsin? Yeah, yeah. Are you clear? And so, are you talking one. about the guy that uh, was basically the Barry Bonds character? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Reggie Stalker. <laughs> John Dowd. Yeah. Oh, wait, did Barry Bonds just not want to be in that game? Is that what the problem was? Yeah. I think, like, to be honest, I think that is what it was. I have that no was idea. Cr- it's crazy now that, you, that I think of it. Huh. Interesting. <clears throat> I will go right. with uh, how about Cubs fan favorite Todd Hollinsworth? Ooh, Toddy boy. Would you say he's a fan favorite? Because uh, he also was on that 20 or 2003 Marlins team. Uh, I mean, I feel like people don't really know that, to be honest. Uh, I mean, I knew that, but I feel like. Pepperidge fan yeah. remembers. <laughs> the casual fan does not recognize Todd Hollinsworth as an 03 Marlin. No, probably not. Hopefully not. Uh, give who's a who's the number twenty eight for the Bears? Uh, it's Tariq Cohen twenty eight. Nope, twenty nine. Right? Twenty nine. Deion Bush is twenty six. Come on now. Shaq. Uh, I, had, let's... I had this. It was some Wilson guy or Williams or whatever. Mm. Let's see if I can find him quick. Oh oh oh, Willie Gallimore. Willie Gallimore, number twenty eight. Only twenty eight I could find. It's the only one that I see right now, too. All right, and there we go. I was talking <laughs> number 28s. That might, that's a bad number. That might be the worst group of numbers. I feel like it's a good number in sports in general, but just not for Chicago. I can't even think of, like, a famous just number 28 in general. Adrian Peterson. <laughs> wow, you had that on a tip of your tongue. Yeah, no, <laughs> Just wait, you he's wasted. been waiting 28 weeks for you to ask that question. <laughs> you wasted no time answering that. Nope. Adrian Peterson, is he still playing? Is he still kicking? Free agent, maybe? Bears could he use was, him. He was on the Lions last season, but I don't know. 
he's still around. He was on the Lions. He was on the Redskins. He was on the Saints. He's on the Cardinals. He's man, this guy's been fucking everywhere. He's literally one of those guys that just doesn't know what to do without football. I mean, who amongst us, right? <laughs> True. What would you do on the weekends if there was no football in the fall? Drive home from Charleston. Watch hockey. <laughs> yeah, that kind of that would get old after a while. <laughs> All right, let's go through the games here. Uh, we'll start with the Thursday night game, Bucks Eagles, twenty eight twenty two. Vegas knows everything. The spread was six and a half. Eagles were down fourteen, and they go for two to make it a six point game. I had the Bucks minus six and a half. Like, oh God! So wait a minute. Didn't the Bucks run the clock down at the end of the game? Did they just yeah. not kick the field goal? Yeah, and that was that was that. Yep. <laughs> I thought I had it. I had that. I had Bucks minus six and a half and the over. And a score there would have, I would have won. I would have won two for two, and I went over two. So that's a tough loss right there. Yeah, not great. Uh, fun fact: Tom Brady 0 and 11 in his last 11 primetime games against the spread. Okay. You keep that in your back pocket. Yeah, I feel like starting it with 0 and 11 is misleading. Maybe Ty, Ty's not wearing pants. He doesn't have pockets. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got a pocket without. There, though. I got a pocket without pants on, but. You know, it's not necessarily a box, dude. Another thing, uh, Tom it's Brady, pack. he's nine and one on was it Thursday Night Football? I know it's he's nine and one when the game is on NFL Network. <laughs> These are important facts. They are. I mean, people. Well, I mean, the one against the spread is definitely. You want to write something down? Write that down. Yeah, seriously, take notes. Take so, notes. why is Antonio Brown still so good? Why would he not be good? It's not like, I mean, he's 33 years old, 33. Yeah. That's like the prime of most uh, players careers is, I mean, I guess that's probably like the end of the prime for a receiver. But, it's definitely the end. Yeah. But he's, you know, he's like an anomaly. He's literally just like a cyborg running out there. He's so fast. He's so fucking good. good. He's, he's fast. Cheap he's, fa- he's, he's real fast. His <laughs> routes are fucking make me hard. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Do you miss him wow. on the Steelers? You are horny online. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, yeah, dude. I I mean, he's so good still. And yeah. to have Tom Brady throwing you is just like, does it get another any easier? Code. That's another yeah. anomaly. Yeah. And he said he's anomalies. 55. That sucks. I, I can't imagine. Uh, Bears this week, they're, they're playing. Uh, 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 they're playing the box. They are... What are they? They're plus 13. Your mouth just said it's got to be like 12 points. Yeah, my back. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I think I shit to the computer. Yeah, they're plus 13 and a half, which is not great. Is that in Chicago? No, it's in Tampa. 325 game on CBS. Just throwing that out there. All right, moving on. Jags, Dolphins. I watched zero of this game. I always forget these London games are on. I watched some of it. Um, Tua Tua looked pretty good. Tua did? They lost. It's not hard to look good against the Jags, but yes, they did lose. The Jags snapped a 20-game losing streak. Do you think they purposely picked the two worst teams in the league every year to play in London, or is that just like coincidence? Um, I mean, no, it's funny. I feel like you never see like the Patriots in London. You never see good teams play in London. I think that I think they did say during the game that the Jaguars have been out there more than any other NFL team. Yeah. Well, the, yeah. No, I think it's like tradition for the Jags to go out there, which is kind of funny. But I mean, going into the season, the Dolphins were supposed to be a decent team. I mean, they won ten games last year, so it's not it's funny because it's like here we're gonna do you a, you guys a, a favor and get you in on the action, but really fuck you because we're the United States and you're still England, and we're just gonna send you the Jaguars every year. I don't. Why don't they have these games in the middle of the day? And why don't they start them at like eleven or ten? Or why does oh, it have to start at eight thirty? Well, what time is it there when the game's starting? What, London is like six hours, hours ahead. It London six hours from here. So I don't know. My cock doesn't wear a watch. Perfect timing for that, by the way. The only time that that phrase is ever applied was right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! It always applies. Always. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. So what is that? Like two o'clock? Yeah, it's like two o'clock there. <laughs> and they're like push it back like three or four hours, play it at five or six, make it an eleven o'clock game on Sunday, and 
Good night, Jim Kite. I'll, I would watch at least the first half of that. I like, in theory, the idea of having a game to watch all day long, though. Like, 9.30 I think that's the point. I think they're trying yeah. to get as many views as possible. Yeah, I mean, I guess <laughs> they could have had it at 11 o'clock our time, and I still wouldn't have watched it, so I can't even bitch. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, congrats to Urban Meyer. I, I know we didn't record last week, but quick thoughts on him uh, sticking his thumb up that girl's butt. Now there's a cool guy. Urban got an Urban. Yeah, he's going to have like a heart attack or something soon here. He's not going to be coaching much longer. Um, Chiefs football team, 31-13. Uh, my take from this game is that I hate Jackson Mahomes. That kid that was sucks. everyone's take from that you game. See he was much. dancing on the Sean Taylor. Yeah, um, like zero awareness. He's just a brutal. he's a squid. I don't know how I don't know how else you can describe him. He's just a bad person. He's a squid game. Yeah. yeah that's and then and then Mahomes' his wife is bitching online saying that he's like not getting any calls. It's like, listen, sweetheart. <laughs> sweetheart. He gets every call. He's got the refs in his back. Talk about pockets. Talk about it. That guy's got pockets. He's wearing pants. <laughs> He's got deep pockets. I thought of this. The, uh, eyes, baby. Maybe it was last week when they were playing on Sunday night. When Mahomes is walking, it looks like he's walking with like a, a turd in his pants. Like he's just trying not to smush it around and like on his butt cheeks. <laughs> he's just trying to walk ever so gently. So oh, I don't think anyone's ever asked him that. So it is possible. That's how I live my life like 40% of the time. Yeah, the other 60% is with gelled hair. <laughs> <laughs> Sex. <laughs> uh you got anything on this game maxi um not really i mean it went how <laughs> i expected rebound game for the chiefs uh over did not hit the under hit on the first i think seven games yesterday and i took the over on like every game i mean the chiefs did their part for the for the over i think uh vegas was expecting maybe more points from washington yeah Starting i could have used like 10 more points maybe 20 um all right rams giants one, this was a score, Gami. 38-11. There's never been a score of that uh, that exact score before, so congrats on that. Literally never? Never. First wow. time in NFL history, 38-11. Um, I'm trying to think. Daniel Jones sucked. That's all I got. I mean, the Giants just sucked. Stafford was literally doing whatever he wanted. Cooper Cup is so good. <laughs> yep. I love that little guy. Little white guy. Spark plug. Stafford loves him, too. Shifty. How would you describe him one word? Uh, yeah, I would say shifty, too. Is good. Shifty. Useful. Useful. No. That's great Useful. analysis. Useful. The one word, Ty. <laughs> I feel like he's precise. He runs good routes. Yeah. Shifty. Useful. Route runner. Yep. Alvin Cooper Klein. Cup. Hyphen. Cooper Cup. <laughs> um. Colts, Texans, I did not. I mean, Red Zone showed none of this game. 31-3. to three. Um, Yeah, I don't know. Carson, I saw Carson Wentz only has one pick this year, which is kind of crazy because I feel like in, in Philly, he was the interception machine. So, what do you got for us about the Colts? Jonathan Col- Taylor. Really boy, T.Y. Football. Hilton's back. He's a knee clapper, huh? Is, is T.Y. Like, back? Yeah. yeah T.Y.'s back. Played. He had like 80 yards. Congrats. I picked them as my survivor team in my other league. Um, I uh, I can't so understand works. why the Colts don't give Jonathan Taylor the ball more. Like yeah. every play. He had like two touches at halftime, and then he just went bonkers in the second half. So I'm, I'm reading here. He's the second running back with 10-plus yards per carry and two-plus rush rushing touchdowns in a game in uh, Colts history. The other one, it just says – now it's some guy whose last name was Moore, Hall of Fame Moore. It literally is in parentheses. It says HLF Moore. <laughs> so I don't know who that is. Except the Colts just want to keep giving the ball to Marlon Mack. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. It's like they say, dude, Miss Mary Mack, I'll dress in black. So <laughs> it's actually they, nothing like that. Do they say that? <laughs> it's just like that. And they all has anybody that. ever said that? <laughs> yeah, it's been said. It's been said. <laughs> and that was talking Colts. Just trust him. He's got John is there. He's buzzing right now. Ty is buzzing up. Are you, are you high right now? Baby. Me, no. This is weird. I ran out of weed. I'm this I, this might be the one of the first uh podcasts we've done, and I'm not just high as shit. Well, sound the alarms because that's a fucking emergency. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
I know we're going game to game, but uh, the kid I know from work just texted me, how are we the same species as Derrick Henry? What's he, had, that's not, he, had a, he had a monster touchdown run against the Bills. That's not good for me. What's the score of that game right now? Uh, 13-7 Bills. That That, oh, it, that is good. Allen hit Diggs for a touchdown. That's good. That it. That's good for me too. I like and that's that. That's talking this game. And that's talk. Yeah, you're time traveling with us, people. <laughs> All right, Bengals, Lions. Um, Lions suck, dude. Jared Goff is bad. <laughs> he's not good. No, he's, he's so bad. I saw this stat. So I don't know how he's had four different head coaches. He had three different head coaches with the Lions. He's never won a game with a head coach that's not Sean McVay. <laughs> He's like 0-5 with Jeff Fisher. He's now 0-6 with Dan Campbell, and he's he was 0-3 with, I don't know, some fucking Joe Schmo. And I mean, he was I like, like we, 42 and 24 with Sean McVay. It's crazy. I, I knew he was bad. Even when he was on the Rams and they were playing decent, like he's just not a great NFL quarterback. He's not I shouldn't say he's not well, he's definitely not great, but he's also not terrible. I mean, he took the Rams to the Super Bowl. I know Rex no, Grossman took the Bears Rams, to the Super Bowl. The Rams took him to the Super Bowl. Yeah, but I mean, he he was not bad. They were, their offense was snapping it around beforehand. But uh, yeah, Bengals, uh, or pardon me, the Lions are just atrocious. Bengals you are know who's good? Though. Joe Burrow is good. Yeah, he's not bad. But they the Bengals have had one. I think they've had one of the softest schedules in the league. I mean, fuck, the Bears beat them. They have. They have had an easy schedule. I mean, so... I don't know if I'm buying or selling the Bengals. Maybe that's a new segment, buy or sell. We'll just steal that from, was that part of uh, the interruption? Do they do that? Well, literally anything. Yeah. I'm no. buying Jamar Chase. I am selling the Lions. <laughs> <laughs> the entire organization. Just as a whole. Get rid of them. They suck. <laughs> Let's talk about how they, because we go to last week's game real quick, how they lost. They had like all the breaks go their way in the final, like, two minutes and then they take the lead they go for two take the lead and then they give up like two huge chunk plays and they lose they lost two games 19 to 17 on the last second like 54 yarder and a 66 yarder that's <laughs> so demoralizing so demoralizing that their coach was crying at the podium his dan i mean, I mean i'm not even gonna call him like a pussy or anything because i mean i would be crying if i were him too i'd be like god damn it you look at him and you listen to him talk and he's like He's literally a character from a movie or something. Like he's just like the ultimate macho dude. And then seems like he should be an eastbound and down or some shit. Yeah. Like he's some crazy asshole coach. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I, I I actually kind of felt bad for him when he was crying. I was like, damn. <laughs> that one must have hurt. But I had <laughs> but I also had the Vikings, so I didn't give a shit. <laughs> I had him as my survivor team that week, so we progress. Uh, let's see here. Ravens, Chargers. Dude, Lamar Jackson is – he's pretty good here. huh? So good. So yeah. fucking good. Well, honestly – So yeah. fucking good. <laughs> so this fucking good. This game was not him. They scored – I mean, they ran in like three touchdowns with guys who joined the NFL in 2005. Like it was Latavius Murray, uh, Devontae Freeman, and Le'Veon Bell. I think they all had a touchdown. Yeah. I don't love you in one time getting a tutter. Yeah, I don't know what happened to Justin Herbert here after that big, big week he had last week. They the Ravens just shut him down. And I didn't think the Ravens defense was I mean, going into that game was anything special, but no, I was shocked by that too. I honestly thought the Chargers were matchup proof. Like I thought Another, was- yeah, I thought that I thought that over was like when I bet I was like, Can you just give me the money now? Because this is definitely gonna hit. Give yeah. me the alternate over of like 75, because this is gonna be another like 35 or 42 35 game. Something I think Mike Williams time. is hurt, but still, I don't know. Six points ain't it. I love every time an announcer describes Mike Williams. They every time they describe him, they always mention how just how big he is. I mean, he's huge, but it's true. I, but they can't be like this guy. You know, he's he's really just having a great year. They're like Mike Williams, this guy, he's big. <laughs> it's like <laughs> you should see his dick. <laughs> Dude's. Big. I don't think they say that. That's that's the sideline reporter, Carissa Thompson. <laughs> <laughs> it's just fucking Collins, just fucking spitballing hey. when he thinks the cameras are off. Yeah, <laughs> you should see his hog. Nick, hey, speaking <laughs> of hogs, did you see that? I don't. I Brendan Shop uh, Fatick actually. 
ironically enough, showed me this video of Josh Allen. And I don't know if it was a commercial and just in Buffalo or for whatever, and he's throwing a pass and he's in gym shorts. And it's like two seconds after he throws, it looks like like a, it's literally his dick down by like his knee just like shifts across his pants. It's the craziest thing. <laughs> Josh Allen, knee clapper is not, is like an understatement because this oh. thing was down like flaccid down by his knee. Like he's got, are we, are we cutting that or leaving that? Oh no, that stays, dude. Josh why, why, that's not it. That's not any like bad opinions. That's me Josh stating Allen's that. Got a knee clapper. I mean, he's six five. I'm not surprised. Have you not seen this video? I have Brendan. Oh says. no, we haven't. It's funny. We're ironic. Pornhub, dude. Check it out. Yeah, that's actually where he found it. When we were at uh, <laughs> when we were at the bar yesterday, Brendan showed the bartender, and then he, the bartender, asked Brendan if he could text it to him. <laughs> So it's making its rounds. It's actually pretty funny. But you know, he just threw a pick. No, it's not good. <laughs> Tripod. <laughs> it's got too much weighing him down to fucking move out of the pocket efficiently. Yeah, he must. <laughs> Moving on from that, from that three-legged monster. Vikings Panthers. Um, we were talking about it a little bit before the show, but Robbie Anderson is like the worst fantasy option ever. He sucks. I hate him so much. But I and I have to keep playing him because I have nobody else, and I just have to pray that he somehow scores a touchdown. He had eleven targets yesterday. He had three receptions. How's that possible? Bad. Is Kirk Bad. Cousins a good quarterback? Oh uh, no, no. I don't think the Panthers are good. I think the Vikings are another team that have played a soft schedule here. Man, like I know he that he is literally Jacqueline Hunt. Kirk Cousins. You're gonna have to explain that reference to me. Just like he has multiple personalities, like he's he's Jekyll and Hyde. Yeah. Yes. Sometimes he's great. Sometimes he's literally just un unusable. In the he's used. Yeah. Sometimes he's great. Other times he's Hyde. Yes. Other times he hides. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm trying to think. From the the Panthers are another team that started three and zero, and now they're three and three when they actually played like any sort of competition. Yeah. Not surprising. Uh, Christian McCaffrey. He's always hurt, dude. He's, He's like always hurt. Plato. He is literally just the epitome of what if, like what could this guy be? No one. I mean, we we know he's good when he's healthy, but he's literally never healthy. <laughs> Have, did you see that Friday beers thing of Christian McCaffrey? Yeah. Did I? Were the they like spoofed over it? Yep. Ty, have you ever? Do you know who Friday beers are? Oh yeah, like, I follow them. But you don't have Instagram. I have the. Yin's daily Instagram. Oh, gotcha. Okay. I don't have a personal Instagram. Oh yeah, you're not you're not throwing out uh Tatiana pics out there for yourself. No, I mean I am, but <laughs> sound different. Funny, way. I was just looking at the Yin's daily account and got a lot of porn stars. <laughs> Do we? Because I don't follow anyone on there. I just have access to it. <laughs> I get to reap the benefits without looking like the idiot who followed porn stars. <laughs> It's actually all you follow is porn stars. <laughs> so weird. The AVN Awards? What? <laughs> it's a sports account that just follows Rachel Starr, Lisa Ann, uh, and Anya Ivy. If you haven't been in the league 10 years, we ain't following you. You got you to put your time. <laughs> the <in>. league. <laughs> the league. No, that's hey, that's why he follows all the older porn stars. <laughs> yeah. Pay your dues. Earn your pay your dues. Baby. Fucking Season right. Vets. Speaking of uh, seasoned vets here. How about the the Broncos and the Raiders? Derek Carr turning up. That was like, I mean, obviously, I don't want to even talk about the John Gruden stuff because who who cares about what we have to say? But them the the Raiders covering four and a half, pretty impressive. Not even really covering, just winning honestly. outright. I I, I honestly, uh, anyone who had the stones to put money on the Raiders in that game, that's either just a dumb bet or an absolute genius bet? Like, you had to know something. Damn, I should have – the second you texted me saying to take the, the Broncos, I should have taken the Raiders. Like, that should have been <laughs> – that should have been the sign from God. Like, why, why would I, I – I done goofed. I done goofed. There's nothing more to it. You hate to see it, but, yeah. Crazy. All right. Cardinals-Browns. 
Cliff Kingsbury out with COVID doesn't fucking matter. Dude, the Cardinals are an absolute wagon. They are 6 and 0. 6 and 0 for the first time since 1974. The Browns all their running backs are hurt. And the overhead. I mean, you want to talk about a team that actually is battle tested. Like they have played some good teams and they beat everyone. And they just picked up Zach Ertz like to make matters worse. So, thanks a lot. Yeah, dude, they are they are a scary team, actually. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. They play the Bears. I think they're they play the Bears in Chicago in a couple of weeks here. And that's just gonna be an absolute onslaught. I'm scared. That's gonna they literally might win by 30. The thing that doesn't make sense to me is how they decided to hire Cliff Kingsbury to coach. Like he was not a very good college coach. And then all of a sudden he just gets a job in the NFL and it's kind of working out for them. Yeah. I mean it. No, you hit the nail on the head there. He's hot as shit, and he's just roaming around Scottsdale looking for any sort of pussy he can get. <laughs> His house is sick. I mean, well, yeah. He's the head coach of the Arizona Cardinals. <laughs> I mean, but did you see the pictures of it from uh, – Yeah, draft day last year. Yeah. yeah. But you know exactly what he's doing out there. He's going he to Old Town Scottsdale. Scottsdale. He's going to Old Town Scottsdale. Um, I mean, I don't know. I don't know if it matters out there. Just laying pipe all over that city like he's an iron worker. <laughs> I, yeah, I guess that's one way to describe it. <laughs> that's one way to describe where I was going. I was just going to say Christ. he's horny. Now there's a guy getting carted off the field, I think, on a stretcher. Here, it looks like. Yeah, there's, there's a, a long same... drive to Castellanos. <laughs> <laughs> that's not good. <laughs> no. Why does that shit keep happening? It's happening way more than usual. It happened yesterday in the Steelers game. Yep. Terrible. Yeah. All right. Cowboys, Pats, CD Lamb, 35 yard receiving TD and OT. I love that. As soon as he scored, the guy, like, or I mean, it was like right when he stepped in the end zone, the Pats guy got to him, hit him. He falls down, gets up. Yep. Just low your waves right in his face. That's Just so cocky. That was like, incredible. What, if you're the defender there, what do you, what can you do? Nothing. Go punch a wall. See, like, there's, there's legitimately nothing you could do. It's I like Dan Campbell. And that's like the worst feeling on the planet. Uh, what's his name? Is it Trayvon Diggs? Is that was I was calling him Quavon. I think Trayvon, Trayvon Diggs Trayvon. is on the uh, Cowboys. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We were talking about the Cowboys. Oh yeah, but you're saying CD was waving at a DB. Yeah, but didn't Trayvon Diggs have a uh, pick six? Uh, he might have. I'm still talking about this game. He certainly did. <laughs> You guys high right now? Fuck. Um, no. Yeah, this this is another one. I, I thought – so the, the spread on this game was only three and a half for the Cowboys. I thought it would have been like seven for the Cowboys. So, of course, I was like, this is fishy. I hammered the pets, and I got duped again. Vegas – dude, Vegas is just undefeated. They literally are just undefeated. Those casinos aren't, aren't big for nothing. Well, the Cowboys' defense has actually looked pretty solid this year, and I'm shocked that the Patriots were able to score 29 points. <laughs> I was about to say they look pretty solid, but yet Mac Jones and the uh, and the Pats put up 29 on them. The thing that's impressive about the Cowboys is they can just do it literally every which way, every way, However, doggy style, missionary, reverse cowgirl, any way you want it. They'll do running it. game, passing game, all the first things you just said, literally all of it. Yeah, Ty. Come on, I know you, there was a sex joke you wanted to make there. <laughs> you were just grinning. <laughs> nah, dude, I played the fifth. Yeah, now you played the fifth. That might oh, be the first time. Fiddle, dude? There's children watching, dude. Come on, grow up. You play the, oh, you play the fiddle, dude? <laughs> oh, that's yeah. why you put gel in your hair, dude. You learn how to play the fiddle. <laughs> <laughs> All right, final game of the Sunday slate. Steelers, Seahawks, Ty, break it down. Um, they almost fucking blew it to Geno Smith and company. No, he meant start dancing. That's why I said oh. break it down. I was going to break down game tape here, dude. <laughs> the all 22. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, oh, I don't know. I started, then I stopped, and then I lost my train of thought, dude. Um, That's what weed does to you. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, Big Ben is so slow. So slow, very immobile. Juju's out. That hurts. You got Ray Ray McLeod taking like 58 offensive snaps when you have James Washington sitting on the sideline. I don't get it. Najee Harris is pretty dope, though. 
Dude's really good at football. TJ Watt, really good at football. Yeah, he's really – he is really good. This might be a crazy statement to you guys, but Cam Hayward is the best interior defensive lineman in the league right now. Boom. I said it. I mean, I don't know. No. Aaron Donald? Look at the numbers. Oh, okay. Here we go. Look at the numbers, dude. All kinds of numbers. We You're... got the numbers. This is a numbers podcast. Ty, you are literally the numbers guy. Name, name the uh, podcast doing numbers. Doing numbers? Numbies? Yeah, you are you're the numbers guy. Yeah, I don't have those numbers currently in front of me, but I'm not going to disagree with you because I don't know. So you can have. I don't one. really know either. I'm just being biased, maybe. But it, he's really good. <laughs> yeah, I believe you. I'm not going to look at the numbers though. <laughs> <laughs> but they almost fucking lost, and I would have been very upset considering I stayed up far past my bedtime for overtime, and I was none too happy about it. So it was actually kind of cool that I was, I flew home from Denver on Sunday night and I was able to watch the game mid flight. On Southwest? Yeah, no, it was American. You could watch uh, live TV on like basic cable channels. Damn, I, I was praying that it was Southwest. Hey, I'll cut that. We'll cut that. Just to rub it in Ty's face. Anytime anyone says Southwest, just like leap over it. <laughs> Ty cringes. He just starts twitching. <laughs> All right, let's break it down. Bears pack. Dude, I hate Aaron Rodgers so much. Yeah, I mean, let's just skip right to that because that summarizes one, the game, and two, my entire life as a Bears fan. All right, I don't want to – I mean, it's so easy to blame the refs, but they were, they were so bad yesterday. The, the Justin Fields interception where he thought he had a free play, everybody in the stadium, everybody watching it besides the refs thought he had a free play. I, I mean, it was he was clearly offsides. I don't know how they don't call that. That's I mean, that's just putrid. What do you think about how Fields played yesterday? I thought he was fine. I mean, it's like he got the job done when he needed to. I, if you watch, I <laughs> fuck. I can't believe I actually watched like literally the all twenty-two today. I was so bored. <laughs> His receivers don't get open. He has nowhere to throw the ball. Yeah, it's like. When he's holding on the ball, it's like, get rid of it. But it's like, you can't, he has nowhere to go with it. So I'm going to say this. I, at first, I thought it was just a play calling problem at the beginning of the season. But now I'm starting to think that Allen Robinson just is kind of a shell of himself. Like, he might not be the same dude that we had on this team for the past two or three years. Which, I mean, yeah, what, what were his numbers yesterday? They, they could not have been good. What, um, let's look it up. I think he was like here. four for 54 or something like that. Yeah, I mean, if that. <laughs> Yeah, that's not going to get it done. He led the team in receiving, but like you said, that's uh, nothing to write home about. I mean, <laughs> leading the Bears in receiving is not – yeah, I mean, that's nothing. Uh, I liked Khalil Herbert, though. He's had 37 runs this year. None of them have gone for zero yards, zero or negative yards. Every single one has been positive. At this point, he even when Montgomery comes back, they still have – like he should still get targets. Yeah. A hundred percent. And I mean, Damian Williams is nice, but I, I don't know why, like what we're doing with him. I, but then again, I, I don't know how old he is. He also just won a Super Bowl with the Chiefs, so he could be very good. Not but I like Khalil Herbert. Though. Yeah. We'll say there was one play where Robinson had the second secondary beat. He was wide open behind the safety and Fields just didn't see him. He, he didn't make the throw. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what was that? Jesus, why was – I think he was just scrambling. I think that was another thing. They were saying he was leaving the pocket early like and looking to run. Or pardon me, taking his eyes off, uh, like going downfield. But at the same time, it's like, yeah, dude, you have these like – you have five like 300-pound guys sprinting at you. It's like, yeah, you could – you're probably not going to have your, your eyes downfield like the whole time. You're not Tom Brady. Like, or he's not Tom Brady. Let him, let him learn the game. Easy to be Tom Brady. All right, I'm not. I'm not here to say anything about how about Tom Brady. This is not an anti-Tom Brady take, but I will but, say his job is made a lot easier by, by how good his fucking offensive line is. Yeah, they're not. He's not starting Sam Mustafer. He's had, he's had some of the best offensive lines of all time, probably in his career. Well, not to mention like yeah, he's got the best fucking receiving core you could possibly ask for. 
Yeah, I mean, he's thrown he's thrown the Chris Godwin, Mike Evans, uh, Antonio oh, wow. Brown, Gronk, Cameron Brait. Justin Fields is thrown to Allen Robinson, Darnell Mooney, Chris Godwin, or uh, Marquise Godwin, or Goodwin, Cole Komet, Jasper Horstead. Like, I mean, don't get me wrong. I like Darnell Mooney, but the hype on him is is way too high right now. It's like the dude was literally, what, a fourth or fifth round pick? Yeah. Like yeah. And, or maybe speed. even a sixth round pick. He's got some speed and he's not bad, but if this is what we have to get excited about, that's pretty sad. Yeah. Not not a fan of that. I mean, Steelers I, I like him. That uh, Anthony Miller guy that the Bears had. Yeah. Have fun with that, dude. He's a squid. Pretty good. No? Horrible. no, dude. He he doesn't know. He's, so, he's athletic as shit, but he's dumber than a box of rocks. Can't run around. Big Ben's going to love him. <laughs> he's gonna hit fucking despise him. His favorite. Um, I mean, we could. Well, you want to go a little week thirteen quick or week thirteen? Uh, week seven preview. Bears plus thirteen against the Bucks. Uh, I think they're. I don't think they're gonna win. I don't think they're gonna. Pardon me. I don't think they're gonna cover. I don't think they're gonna cover. <laughs> Big difference. I don't see how they cover that either, unless they get a backdoor touchdown or something. Yeah, and then it'll like inflate their offensive numbers, and Matt Nagy will be like, "You see, our offense we're gaining more yards now." It's like, dude, right. you got you had eighty yards on the final drive when the, the box had their third stringers in. <laughs> like, shut up, just shut up, just shut up. I hate him. I hate Nagy. Who do you, who really do you hate more, Nagy or Aaron Rodgers? Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers. Wow, that was quick. Okay, I mean, come on, that, come on. He literally just. He literally. I don't even I, – I don't know. Just the, the biggest fuck you to the city of Chicago possible. Basically. Yeah, I know. I hate so, him. I hate him so worse. much. It's actually – it was even more harsh than a fuck you. It was literally just demeaning. It was degrading. But was he right or was he wrong? I didn't say Great anything question. about that. Why? Obviously, he's right, dude. He's what, like 21-5 and five or 22-5 and five against the Bears? Like The only time he he's, like, he's like lost to the Bears are – he broke his collarbone the one time. Uh, I don't know. Like they, they don't beat Aaron Rodgers. That's like they just don't. I don't know. Like, I, yeah, there was one point. Literally one point in the game was seven nothing, and it was right before Fields threw that interception. And I was like, oh my god! They, like they, they had, a, I think they had two sacks on him. I was like, you know what? This might be the day. And because the Bears never lose in those white jerseys either. That's another thing. <laughs> they don't. They got to start wearing the orange jerseys again. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think they're wearing them. Uh, I th- was it two weeks now? And on Halloween, they're wearing them. Something they got to do something. If next year they're like, we're bringing Aaron Rodgers in, Fields is going to learn from the best for one year. You still going to hate Rodgers? No, You're making, that's just not possible. Well, I mean, anything's possible. So write that down. Okay. <laughs> all right, we will. We'll write that down. Now we're getting all philosophical. <laughs> Now we know Ty's really high. <laughs> now, now I'm just quoting it's always sunny in Philadelphia quotes. He's just quoting Aristotle. <laughs> yeah. You got it, dude. It, the, uh, the, the other problem is it does not get any easier for the Bears. No, it goes what? Box Niners. Steelers. Ooh. Ravens. Ravens Cardinals. Ravens, Lions, Cardinals. When do we face the Cardinals? December? Uh, the first weekend of December, yeah. At home? Pray for snow. Pray for like just the shittiest weather. <laughs> That's literally our only chance is a snow game against the Cardinals. Yeah, that is our only chance. Because otherwise we're fucked. Like it's just not, it's not in the cards. So the Bears have scored 98 points this season. <laughs> oh my God. That's in what in five games, six games, they've scored 98 points. Yep. That is. Putrid. That's terrible. It's really bad. I mean, the only teams that they've scored more points than are the Texans and the Jets. Davis Mills and Zach Wilson. Awesome. <laughs> and the Dolphins have 99 points. So, Jacoby Brissett to round out the, the triumphant three right there. Oh, my God. That's fucking awful. I hate that. I hate that you told me that. I, I hate that they've only scored 98 points with an offensive guru as their head coach. 
I'm going to, I'm going to tweet that out from shy sports there right now. I'm going to see, we're going to get some live reactions of people responding. They're going to hate it. They're going to absolutely hate it, but I love it. So hold on, let's see NFL points scored. Guess how many points the Cowboys have scored? 32. So who's in last max? Uh, the jets are dead last with how many? 67. Jesus Christ. So bad. 31 Texans. With how many? Texans have scored 92 points. 30 is Bears. Uh, and the Bears have scored 98. Nine, 98? Yep. Who's one above the Bears? The Dolphins? Uh, the, the Dolphins, yeah. We should just make this a whole segment, just live tweets. NFL points scored this season. Four teams without 100 points. So that's good, you know. There you go. Oh, and keep in mind that the Jets had a bye. So, I mean, granted, they were nowhere near the Bears, but. You think they were putting up 33 points this week? No. (laughs) Yeah, no. All right. Let's go to the – you want to do our picks now? Sure. Why don't you uh, let us know the records again? Just uh, It's been like three weeks since we've fucking done this. Yeah, yeah. By the way, the Cowboys have scored 205 points, so more than double the Bears. Sounds Oof. about right. That's not good. That's things you hate to see, that. Um, so the records here, Ty is leading everyone. He's 6-3, and three, and me and Maxi Pad are both 5-4. and four. I am out of the survivor pool. I put about the Texans, or probably the Titans, when they lost to the Jets. You guys are still buzzing there. So let's go to week seven. Ty, our king, lead us off. All right, dude, you asked for it. You got it. Let me pull up my notes. You got so your favorite here? Favorite. You want my oh, favorite? Yeah. Ravens minus six and a half against the Bungles. Ooh. Wow, that's that's, uh, that's, that's a hefty tough. line. Dude, they're good. And the Bengals, not good. All right, Max. Uh, I'm still scanning here. I'm scanning. There's, mm. a, there's not really like I'm looking at the not a lot no of slam good, dunks. Uh, yeah, no, not a lot of good but there's not even right like here. good games. No, like what would you no. say is like the best? That that actually might be like the well, I guess Chiefs Titans, but Raiders Eagles might be a good game, but no, nah, that's gonna not exactly excited about that one. Yeah, no. Oh, uh, Cardinals, Texans will be good. <laughs> Jesus yeah. Christ, 17 and a half on that game. I'm going to take the Cardinals minus 17. Holy shit. It's a lot of fucking points. <laughs> that honestly, it's a good bet, though. Like, it honestly, this honestly feels like a college game. Like uh, Alabama yeah. favored by 17 over Ole Miss. Some insert stupid team, team in the SEC. Insert yeah. the number four team here. Right. All right, Max, you going to give us your pick, or are you just going to twiddle your thumbs all day? I think I'm going to do it, yeah. I think I will give you a pick. Um, shit, though. I don't know if I am. because I. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I am going to give you a pick. Wait one second. Yeah, I don't know if I am. <laughs> Listen, I went to, I went to college with – Max for four years had a few classes together never seen him concentrate this hard on anything <laughs> that's and, so true so in the meantime while Max is looking for his favorite uh Chicago Joe replied to that tweet and said swaggy I'm not sure what that meant uh Doug Griffith said can't fire him and everyone in the organization including the owner soon enough and then <laughs> Big Phil shout out Big Phil that Jets number is something <laughs> <laughs> Big Phil doesn't know about the buy. <laughs> nope, we're, there's no way we're telling him about the buy. No. All right, make a pick. I like the dogs a lot this week, but uh, home dogs bark. Fuck it. I, after a tough game um, against the Cowboys, I'm going to go with the Patriots minus seven at home against the Jets. Oh, okay. They, yeah, they beat the. The Jets earlier this year and they covered. 
All right, Ty, your underdog. Uh, I'm going Seahawks plus five and a half against the Saints. Oh, you cunt. I don't like that. I was honestly thinking about taking the Saints minus five there. Coming out of a bye. Yeah, kind of a toss-up for me. Geno Smith's about to get hot. I'm going same. I'm going Seahawks plus five. It's in Seattle. I know that. <laughs> All right, you're, I don't know. Did J- Jameis hit a good game last game? He's. You want to talk about Jekyll and Hyde? He's yeah. He's fucking hot and cold, dude. He's hot and cold. He's yes and no. Yeah, in and out, Just up and down. Like it. Just the way we like it. Just the way we like it. Now, uh, come back in twenty minutes. Twenty minutes, and we'll have Max's pick ready. So is it to me now? Yeah. So Hank Pelter said, "Sheesh." <laughs> and uh, baseball card Haven said Nagy needs to be fired. Hearing a lot of Nagy slander. You hate to see it. You hate hey, how about Lori Lightfoot at the? Oh, shout out Chicago Sky, Sky Town champs. Why don't we talk? Why don't we talk about the Sky instead of the Bears? I don't. I, why did they play the game at two o'clock? Why didn't they <laughs> play it at uh, seven? I don't know. I mean, I. I watched a little bit of the game. I didn't, I mean, I guess it was on at the bar, but I didn't like, it was cool. They won Lori life at there celebrating. Well, everybody else has a mask on. She's just the maskless bandit. She's such a fraud. She's a phony insert that. Whatever that, uh, is it from family guy? He's a phony. (laughs) That's that's Lori life. All right, right, Kyle, is it me or you? It's you. You haven't gone. It's oh. been you. It's always been you. I'm torn. I'm torn between the Dolphins and the Colts here. I'm sitting uh, here monologuing for you. <laughs> I am gonna take the Dolphins plus two and a half at home. Against who? Falcons. Yeah, that's a fishy line. I'm not sure if I like that. I mean, I'm saying I, I think I like your pick because that that line doesn't make any sense. Um, all right, Ty, your favorite total. Um, I've got Colts Niners over 44 and a half. Colts Niners over 44. Yeah. I thought you were an unders guy. Usually am, dude. Usually I am. I respect that. Okay. Let's see here. Got it. the highest over is 56 and a half and I, for Chiefs Titans. And I'm just in love with that. You like the I, over? I mean, I, I do like the over, but I, I don't love the over. I'm going to say over 47 and a half Bengals Ravens. Because I feel like that should be lower. Every time you see the Ravens, you just want to hammer the over, don't you? Uh, yeah. I feel like every Not Ravens here that's been your, uh, your thought process. Yeah, I'm, I'm a simple man with simple tastes. <laughs> I like betting the over. In the meantime, we'll see who else replied to this tweet while Max is figuring out uh, what's going on here. Yeah, I'm going to say over 42 and a half Browns Broncos. These Thursday Ooh. night games, there's usually not much defense. I like that one. Max, I, I, I don't like any of your picks this week. <laughs> Fade Max. I'm sure, I'm sure they'll it's all hit next now. season. Max is somehow going to go just like on a heater here. Yeah. <laughs> After I said that. You pissed uh, him off. If it wasn't it. that, I was going to take uh, the over in the Raiders Eagles game. All right. And then you two give me your survivor picks. Um, you'll have to remind me if I've used any of these teams I'm about to say. Okay. Uh, Packers. Yep. You've used the Packers, Bills, and Broncos. And Max, you've used the Browns, Broncos, and Bills. Oh, really? Well, then, yeah. just to rub it in your face, I'm going to go Buccaneers. Mm-hmm. I mean, that is the that is the play. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'll just take the Cardinals because it is literally impossible for them to lose to the Texans. You say that, but what happens yeah. if uh, he tears, like, his ACL or something? Well, don't you is put he... that evil on him, Ricky Bobby. That would suck. That would suck. Nobody wants that. All right. Let's finish it off with the starting five here in honor of Aaron Rodgers being the biggest villain in Chicago sports history, or at least currently we're going to do our the starting five of villains. So you could be 
sports villains, movie villains, uh, personal villains, whatever, whatever tickles their fancy. So let's go. How about this? We got a rock, paper, scissors for order. Yes, that's correct. There we go. Ready? We're not, so we're doing rock, paper, scissors, shoot, right? Yeah, on shoot. Ready? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Three wow. scissors. How about that? We all did scissor me timbers. All right, ready? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. I went back to it. And Max. Let's fucking, fucking go. <laughs> rock, Max goes first. Wait, Ty, we got to, me and you got to go. Damn it. All right. Sons of bitches. You two are going to get lost in the snake so many times. <laughs> yeah, you should have never let me be on the end. You should have stuck me right in the middle. Right in the middle of the sandwich. All right, Max, lead us off. All Villains. Right. Number one villain. Uh, I'm going to start and, with LeBron James. Wait, and we're going to, this is the Aaron Rodgers villain, memorial villain uh, starting five. Yeah, so we don't Aaron Rodgers cannot be picked. Exactly. Don't even need to pick Rodgers. So um, he's literally the king of assholes. Villain? Pardon me? Are we, do we have to do one sports villain or no? Does do whatever you want. All right, cool. Let's have fun with it. Speaking of, I'm literally watching the I Own You clip right now. Break your TV. Feel <laughs> um, Yeah, so back to my first overall pick, LeBron James. That's perfect. That's um, why that was my first pick too. Especially for Chicago fans and <laughs> anyone. I mean, I feel like you live in Chicago. You and you're around our age or older. Jordan is your goat. So, when you watch LeBron beat up on the Bulls growing up, no choice but to hate him. Yeah, no, I completely agree with that. I could say thousands of more things about how much I dislike LeBron James, but I'll leave it at that. You want to talk about a phony? It speaks for itself. This has been a very hateful podcast. That, that guy, every they show ESPN will show him reading a book. He's never not on page one. <laughs> He definitely wears fake glasses, page. too. Seriously, look it up. It's crazy. He's always on page one. It's like definitely wears geez. fake glasses. He gets carried off the court for cramps. Um, I digress. He's a pussy. All right, I'm going to go A.J. Pierzynski. Oh, that's a good one. How dare you? That's, I'm going my first pick, A.J. Pierzynski. Do me a favor. Uh, spell his last name for me. Uh, A.J.P. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. P I E R Z Y S and S K I. I don't know. Something like that. Yeah, he he's definitely just like up there with he's he's an all-time villain. And it's not even just being a Cubs fan. He's just like such a heel guy that you love on your team, but to hate to play against. I think I could actually spell Pierzynski, but you're Polish. It doesn't count. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I am Polish, yep. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's facts. These are facts. These are <laughs> those are numbers. I mean you, I mean, do we even need to talk about the AJ Michael Barrett brawl? I feel like that's where the Przinsky hate kind of all started. Oh yeah, I mean, yeah, that's a hundred percent where it started. That's where it starts and ends. But yeah, I'm going AJ. Ty, you got two. All right, uh, I'll stick with the sports theme here and keep it Chicago related. And I'm sure I'm stealing one of your guys' answers. But uh, shout out Cubs fans. I'm going Steve Bartman. Oh. Fuck. That's mean. That's a good one. <laughs> That's mean. I would never I would never have put him on my list. No. Would you, how is he's not Alex Gonzalez is the villain there? Catch the fucking Okay, but for how many play. years was he the villain? Let's be honest. He should have been the v- villain for zero years. I'm I'd agree with you. But how many years what? was he the villain? Is what you're saying? Yeah, yeah, he's, I mean, until they won. Yeah. Yeah, until they won, he was the villain. So there you go. But uh, going back to the tweet, Kevin Yachman, Yachman said offensive guru with a question mark, LOL. So people will have Nagy right now. All right. I got to go again, huh? I already yeah. got lost in the fucking snake, dude. You got lost in the sauce already. Um, I'm going to go, you know, it's fucking, it's almost Halloween. I'm going to keep it Halloween related here. I'm going Jason Voorhees. Uh, because he also what the fuck is that the movies Jason the Halloween movies um, I don't like scary it. movies I've never seen it. it what I don't like scary movies who is this guy do you like scary movies no Hold but up. everyone who, knows who's the pick I missed movie. it Jason Voorhees Jason the Jason movies yeah, I know who he is but bad pick <laughs> oh he's a Crystal Lake <laughs> native bro he's literally from Crystal Lake 
Is it really? Well, that's the lake he comes out of, and it's also Halloween. So it's called How about Crystal being Lake? festive. Yeah, festivus for the rest of us. But it doesn't take place in Illinois, right? No, no. The lake just happens to be called Crystal Lake. I love that's his fun fact. Every time he uh, has to do an icebreaker. <laughs> All right, my number two pick here, I'm going to go Rafi Torres. The guy who cheap shot it and mur- he gave Seabrook a concussion in the 2011 playoffs and then literally tried to murder Marion Host in the 2012 playoffs. That guy is the biggest piece of shit on the planet. Yeah, it's a good pick. It's a great pick. All right, Max, you get two now. All right. I'm going to start with Alex Rodriguez. I feel like he enjoys being the villain. Like he yeah. basically got caught or admitted that he did performance enhancing drugs. And then he just kind of like wore it. Like he walked around with like a shit ass grin on his face. He didn't really give a fuck. Plus he played for the Yankees. Yeah. That's, and that's where it kind of, <laughs> that's where it lies. And then number two, I'm going to go with Shooter McGavin. Oh. From Happy Gilmore. Shooter. How we doing? That's such a good one. <laughs> Damn, that now I want to watch shoot, or, uh, Happy Gilmore. I might have to as well. That's a great movie. That's a great movie. All right. My third pick, I'm going to go the Joker. Heath Ledger Joker. That's an all, he's, that's such a, he plays it so well. Like the best villain. <laughs> Can I admit something to you? I've You've never, never seen, seen that movie. Any of those movies. You're crazy for not. You think I'm crazy for not seeing the Jason movies? You're crazy yeah. for not seeing any of the Dark Knight movies. Yeah, take it or leave it type of thing for me. Um, Buy or sell. I'm selling you. Yeah, all the way to China. Uh, I like Max's uh, Happy Gilmore pick, so I'm going to go Billy Madison O'Doyle. O'Doyle fucking <laughs> rules. Oh, Doyle. That's a good pick. Oh, that's funny as hell. Oh, Doyle. Um, and then let me snake it back. And you guys uh, steal my next pick. I'm gonna be fucking pissed. I probably am. I probably am. I'm going Dr. Evil. No. That's a really good one. And I thought about it, but not who I had in mind for this. That was that was sorry, who I was going sorry with. about you, Kai. That's Dr. who I was going with. Phenomenal choice. Um, all right, I'll I'll shift here. I'm gonna go Biff Tannen from Back to the Future. He's just a big boy. <laughs> hey, can you, believe, can you believe this? Never seen it. Shocker. What you just you like think? Biff Tannen or Tanner? Just put Biff back to the future. All right, I'm pretty excited about this one. Probably should have taken him in the last round, but White Goodman. Oh. W-H-I-T. E. E. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on. He is he is arguably – there's grounds for him to be picked in the first round. thousand percent, dude. He's the so, amount of one-liners that he has in that movie are just – That's another gotta, one. That's it's got to be the one. hair. Feathered <laughs> and lethal. It's got to be the hair, Cotton. Feathered and lethal. <laughs> I might watch that right now instead. Yeah, honestly, yes. All right, so would this be my last pick here? Yeah. Sure would, bud. Round five. Fucking shit, I have a lot of good picks. Um, I guess I'll keep it sports related. And I'm just going to go with Russia from Miracle. <laughs> really the entire team. <laughs> Because fuck those guys. <laughs> and that is one of the best sports movies of all time. <laughs> oh, my God. From your words to my heart. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll pass it back to you with that. Just just Russia. Fucking <laughs> I'm amazing. Trying to th- I'm trying to think if I want to make it a uh, a sports one or just like a, a villain overall. I'm, I'm going to go Voldemort. Oh, jeez. Snagging him in the fifth round might be the steal of the draft. I mean, if he's the leader of your villains, that's pretty fucking good. <laughs> I was going to go Darth Vader, but I thought it was too obvious, so I didn't. I mean, Voldemort's literally named as he who shall not be named. 
And look at you just saying his name, dude. Have you seen the? Do you watch? Oh, the you could still pick. What? You still have a pick? Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm not doing fucking Darth Vader. I'm gonna go a little Let's off see. the grid. The dog, the beast from the Sandlot. For oh, the nice. Majority I, I, of the movie. Yeah, that crossed my mind. That's a good one. You would say he's a villain. Yeah, he terrorizes an entire town of children. Yeah, for literally like ninety percent of the movie, he's a villain. Mm. I don't know. I, dogs aren't villains. <laughs> That's fair. It's a fair assessment. I don't believe you. I right, give us some honorable mentions. Who do you guys have? How about uh, Jafar from Aladdin? Yep, that's a good one. Scar from Lion King. <laughs> I had sticking on the Disney route. I'm gonna go guest on. Oh, I had Yachty, Yachty or Molina. Mm. El- <laughs> I I feel like Albert Pujols isn't really a villain. Like he doesn't play the villain role. He hasn't been here for a while, so I kind of forgot about him. Yeah. Um, I also had Daniel Murphy written down. Do you know who that is? I know who that is. Yeah. And he just stared at, <laughs> stared through me uh, when I said that. Like Derek, you... Ro- Derek Rose's ACLs. Oh. Villains. Two villains. Oh Two man. Villains. Two no. villains for the price of none. Well, no, he only tore his one ACL. But I think he tore the. So it'd more be Derek Rose's knees, but. There you go. Fair enough. Yeah, but I get. What I'm, I'm picking up what you're putting down. Um, how about Freddy Krueger? So you know Freddie, but you don't know Jason. I get Freddie and Jason. Yeah. No one said Thanos. There Who the go. fuck is Thanos? Never seen the Avengers? No. I've never seen it, but I know who it is. Someone out there knows who Thanos is. Yeah. That yeah, if you say it's a good one, that's a good one. Um, how about Cruella DeVille? Oh, you should have led with that. I didn't even think of that until right now. That heartless bitch. You seriously, you want to talk about a heartless bitch? Who tries this? Chucky. <laughs> the John Gruden episode. Chucky. <laughs> that's that actually he is the ultimate villain. That's a, fuck, that's a good one. All right, give me your uh your one like one sports one. Who would you say is like who's your opposing team player that you just hate the most? That's not Aaron Rodgers. Vontez perfect. <laughs> I guess that's a good one. That is a very good one. Max. Dude, dude, trying to sucks. think of one for the Cubs right now. I feel like they don't have uh, any heated rivalries with anyone. Well, they, I mean, they also don't really have a good team. So <laughs> True. All of the Philadelphia yeah. Flyers hockey team. Like, if Rodgers was in play, you would definitely take Rodgers, right? Yes. Oh, yeah. He'd be number one for sure. By a long yeah, time. that's what I'm saying. I'd probably be – jeez, that's a good one. Like, who's a Cubs killer? Like, Carlos Lee's a Cubs killer. Um, Who else? Uh, to be honest, I'd probably say, like – I literally would just say the Cardinals franchise or Yachty because he's just a – he's so overrated piece of shit asshole. The Cardinals run office. Yachty's a good one, though. The Cardinals run office. Um, Bill Belichick. I didn't know one say Bill Belichick. It's pretty good. It's a pretty good answer. I like good Bill. Good answer. Good answer. I know, but he literally is like the Darth Vader of the NFL. Yeah, he is. Well, he only had 15 picks between the three of us. He would have been if we had a if we had a five man snake here. He would have been on there. Definitely. Ty, Ty, were you on the snake last time? No, right? Uh, no. No, no, no. I love it. All right, before we wrap it up, let's see what else we got here on this uh, on this tweet. Damn, it already has, in 23 minutes, has 109 likes, so we're buzzing here. 110. Uh, silver Bullet said, hashtag trust the process. Uh, Mr. Miyagi Jr. said, how the fuck did the Raiders lose to the Bears? I know the Gruden shit, but come on. And, yeah, that's that's uh, those are the new ones. So, Love it. Those are numbers. <laughs> those are numbers. Those, uh, those are numbers, fellas. 
Those are numbers. Ty, how are we doing on time here? Uh, hour and 15 minutes. Per- are you Hit kidding? the nail on the head. Best one yet. Are you kidding me? Best one yet. Thanks for listening. And uh, yeah, bear down. Bear down. Question mark. Let's cover. Let's cover plus 13. Yeah. I've, it, it, seriously, if we cover plus 13, I'll get a plus 13 and a half, actually. I'll consider that a win. That's it. Won't, good. I won't make any fire naggy jokes for the next week if we right. cover. And that's a guarantee. That's a promise. I don't break promises. All right. Bear down.